Hello everybody, it's Oscar D21 here. I just thought I'd do a little update video on the old MTD here. Obviously there are some significant changes since the hill climbing video I made there. You guys on ATLTF that are keeping up with my build thread are aware of all these changes, but for some of you guys on YouTube that aren't part of the farm, I thought I'd just make a little update. So maybe the first thing you'll notice are the front wheels are larger and different rims. I have done the spindle modification that most guys do. Well, technically, I have half inch spindles. I cut them off and welded five, grade 5 3 quarter inch bolts. Just double nutted them here and I got these wheels which have roller bearings in them. Greasable roller bearings. There's a grease fitting right there. So they're much better than the smaller ones that were on there before with the plastic bushings and whatnot. I'm pretty happy with the look. Another obvious thing may be the bumper and light combination I got going on here. Still haven't painted the extensions yet. But yeah, I got these lights from work here. They're they're off the rear of a fire truck, so they're very bright. Again, you guys on ATLTF have probably seen the pictures. They're great for night riding, obviously. And I'm pretty happy with them. Um, it still has a rack here, but it's a different one that was shown in the hill climbing video because I had a bit of a wreck here and I totally destroyed it. As you can see, it's it's bent. Yeah, it's basically just like a, one of those DVD rack things. I just had it, so I threw it on there, but it's not really worth a damn for. Uh, eight, and a utility rack. And I built a new one out of rebar. You can, see, you can see that's rebar actually, yep. And a little wire here, pretty thick gauge, not really wire, but it's pretty nice. I got the toolbox strapped on. There's a little thing for the bungee cord and something for it to hook to at the front. And I made a little drop in holder. This drop in actually, hilariously enough, is one of the old spindles. <laughs> a little half inch thing that works pretty good. It fits my drawbar there. Yeah, I got the heavy duty drawbar as you can see. It's definitely not factory by any means. Which is good because the original ones aren't really good for hauling heavy things. They like to bend. Um, yeah, I got this little seat here because, I don't know, I just like the look of the low profile seat and everything. And it still flips up. I can still, I can still get to my battery. I have to get the booster cable in here and here. But, um, Put the throttle pedal here. You can see that it's it is not hooked up yet. I need to get some bicycle brake cable, but I'm actually going to have dual throttle control. So I'm going to have uh, my throttle control on the dash still, but then my pedal can override it. Sort of like a diesel, like a big diesel tractor. But I had to kind of give a mini shout out to Rev Dog on. ATLTF, he gave me the idea. He did it on a V twin on his Craftsman. I'm going to make it work on my little Briggs here. On um, this, just going to hook to the governor arm here, the foot, the pedal cable. I think Alex Man Videos did the same thing with his actually. So, um, yeah, I got a different gas tank in here. This big one here. Uh, <laughs> the original one, kind of when I got this thing. The original one started cracking and it wouldn't hold gas anywhere, so I had to put a push more <laughs> a push more tank in, which was not fun, having to fill up every ten minutes. This one here is obviously not a push more tank, it's significantly larger. It's actually bigger than the original one, which is great. I just had to cut a little bit of the dash, it's not very nice, I need to take a file in there yet. But it clears the hood and everything, so and probably the biggest modification I've done yet is this now has front suspension. I'm going to try and show you, but one-handed here. I can't really show you here, but you look in there. There are springs. They're just seat springs. They're fairly heavy duty, but they're between the axle. They're welded to an old piece of leaf spring on the axle in there. And then they just sit on this piece of angle iron which is welded to the frame here. So and then I got like a pan hard rod of sorts. 
under there because the axle was walking back and forth on me and that's not good. I also got that, you can see I got sway bar links as so also got those from work. <laughs> um, to, when I hit something there to run the axle from one to kick back and you know fall out from underneath the tractor basically. And my recent thing done here is this big support rod which is uh, this part is the outer, I think, tie rod of an Alice Chalmers D15 and it just bolts onto the bracket I weld on the axle and it goes, uh, the lighting is not really working with me here but it's on ATL tape if you want to see it I guess but it's the Chevy Chevrolet upper ball joint it bolts onto a bracket that I made and it's bolted to the frame, that's what these two nuts are here the brackets underneath there that's basically just more support for the axle and also kind of allows it to flex a little bit better. These lights do work actually, although I'm having a bit of a problem with the left hand one. All of a sudden it doesn't want to work. I'm thinking it's a connection problem, but yeah, that one, I don't know if it's just this here or the ground or something, but that one's not working. But I'm fine. They're nice lights, that's for sure. They're not LEDs, but I don't really not a huge fan of LEDs anyway, so well they are efficient, but you know, whatever. So yeah. I'll see if I can maybe you can sort of see the suspension, but not really I'm making a fool out of myself here, but anyway. Oh also maybe if I, again the lighting's not gonna work. I haven't done a lot of No, not really. But I've done a lot of gusseting here. There are big pieces of angle iron, angle iron underneath the frame. You can step on these footboards here, and uh, the whole tractor moves, but the footboard doesn't flex. It's very, very sturdy, actually. Again, pictures of all that are on ATLTF here. So, I just painted that on there. I made a stencil. I'm gonna, I'm gonna repaint this whole thing. I'm gonna strip all this, all this down, everything, get rid of the yard machines. Uh, decal there, and it's going to be all red, but it's just going to have MTD on there, probably in white. I'm thinking in white. The white on the red will look pretty nice, because MTD, of course, that's what it stands for. <laughs> so, I even got it on the dash there. That's all the switch. But anyway, yeah, so I don't know, I just thought I'd do a wee bit of an update, because she's a bit different since that initial video and uh, yeah well I guess if you if you like my tractor here let me know and yeah thanks for thanks for watching guys bye